Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is uh, going to be a demonstration of how to write an ISO, this ISO, which is Linux Mint 14 to USB. And I've already run FDisk, and I know that uh, my uh, USB drive is dev SDB. It's right there, SDB1. So what we'll do is Sorry for all of the terminals. Uh, Linux Mint 13 just borked on me. I have no panels at the top. I have no panels at the bottom. And the only way to get the whole thing to work at all is with Metacity running in the background. So um, let's go ahead and run the command. This will be sudo dd if equals go to the desktop and it's going to be Linux Mint I'm using tab completion to speed it up obviously uh, OF equals dev sdb o flag equals direct and bs equals one zero four eight five seven six one zero four eight five seven six and I hit the enter key it will ask me for my password and hopefully something's happening the USB LED is flashing like crazy but there is no output to the screen, so we will have to take our uh, take our chances. I don't know for sure. Ah, yes, this method will definitely delete all of the material that's already on the USB drive. I'm not quite sure how long this will take. The the size of the minute, mint file is approximately one gig. This is an older machine, uh, Compaq TC4400 HP. It's been a good little machine for me so far. Let's see if this works. I can't pause uh, because, as I said before, I don't have a, I don't have the usual graphical user interface because something broke in the last upgrade from Linux Mint 13. Naturally you might be asking why I would want to go with Linux Mint 14 if 13 is broken, but 13 has been stable for me for well over a year. So I have no uh, qualms using Linux Mint. Just don't like it when it doesn't work. Okay, so it did work, <clears throat> apparently. Uh, let's take a look at the drive. I don't, I'm not quite sure what will happen if I click this. Okay, so it says ISO. I assume that's the same ISO that I just installed here. So thanks for watching and happy computing.